Hello and welcome to Wolf and Shorty Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Pan PanoView 360 All Viewer Camera by Top Vision. Let me get the side up. It's Top Vision Inc. It's a hundred sixty-nine dollars. Um, Prime shipping. This was sent to me for free to test and review. <clears throat> it's uh, designed generally for the VR systems through your phone or through the camera or the computer. It's got the two lenses, front and back. It's got your top display. Also has your button for your power, your Wi Fi, and your capture for video or your camera for taking snapshots on the bottom it has the mounting bracket the threaded unit for hooking to tripods it also comes with the black and red it's like a multiple adjustable uh, three-leg tripod unit um, fairly nice setup I've been using it quite a bit for every other camera including this one it does use uh, Wi-Fi in order to control through the cell phone along with this it does have a reset button I've had to actually use that a couple of times inside the trap door here you have your mini USB port for charging and upload photos and videos if you want as well as the micro SD card slot it takes I've been using the 32 however it says it can take up to 32 the video is set at 960p at 30 frames per per second it can go up to two hours um, the battery runs roughly about an hour and a half it runs images at 15 it's a 3008 by 1504 not exactly sure how that uh, pans out to the uh, megapixels It's a 720 panorama. Each one does 360. I'm going to have another video linked in of this actually working. I don't think I can actually blend this video with this video due to the fact these are completely different video sets. Um, I'm not sure how well this will work because YouTube's supposed to be able to do it. I know through the system I can actually set up on my phone so I can move my phone like if it's in a, head, a VR headset or on the phone I can move it I can also swipe back and forth or on the computer I can click and drag and move all the way around the images for a picture or a video so because of that I'm going to just do two videos leave it at that this does have a lanyard location for it if you wanted to hook this up to if you, know, you want to hook it somewhere you don't want it to drop and fall this does not have a waterproof case yet but they are coming out with one if they get one and they can get me a one of them so I can test I'll do a follow-up on this with waterproof and I will look to mount this on my motorcycle helmet up on the very top doing it forward towards where I'm looking and see how well it works and the blue arrow actually indicates the forward rotation of it on the program you can actually decide if you want it upright or you want to move upside down without actually moving the camera so if you mount this underneath say a drone like this you can actually switch it however you want in the program so it works out well that way When you turn it on you have a small screen that says welcome 
it has it tells you there's no card it tells you your date and time your battery you can set it for picture hitting the power button turns it on text to picture um, video you hit the Wi-Fi button it'll actually turn on the light if you hold it down you can also do power save date and time language you can adjust all of those by pushing the uh, Wi-Fi button factory set system format uh, your select for like a shutter type button is your select for it so you have a lot of features on here itself but I prefer if I'm going to do this I'm going to just go ahead and use the phone app to do it just because the phone app is a lot easier to use So far what I've found with this, it's not a major uh, popular market yet, as you'll hear from my other video, I've kind of explained it. Um, it's very interesting though. This is about an inch, inch and a half, maybe close to two inches wide. But when you watch the video, you only have a very short area, which is, you can see the line between them that's not actually recorded and you see the break but somehow these lenses are able to actually record over quite a bit not something I would have expected the quality is actually pretty good now it is a uh, fisheye lens basically a very wide angle so distance is going to be off some your clarity is going to be off some because you're not focused in it's going to be spread out quite a bit the uh, few downfalls besides it not being waterproof yet, there's not a removable battery. You can't switch out like with the GoPro or one of these little action cameras where you can just, they're not always the easiest to do, but stuff like this, you can just pull the battery out throw in a new one and keep going you don't have that feature with this camera at the same time this isn't one I would see being used for a lot of everyday use when it gets a waterproof case I would say it's probably gonna be a lot more usable um, even then you know I only ride on a motorcycle about it hour and a half before I've got to stop and get off and stretch my legs I could always put on a charger but again the time it's going to take to charge is going to take up more time than I'm going to sit and just wait if it's a nice day without a case if I have a safe area to put it with that wind or bugs hitting it I can charge it and record at the same time it does get hot now if it's up where there's wind going to be hitting it it cool it down but you risk bugs hitting the lenses and damaging it. So it's kind of a trade-off. It's not really designed as an action camera, though. This is designed more for set up on a tripod, record special events, weddings, parties, birthdays, which it would do great at. Um, tactical events, mount this on top of a tactical helmet or fire department helmet, stuff like that. This would be wonderful. If you go sightseeing, say if you're one of those who want to go to New York and look around, mount something like this up on a hat or something and walk around downtown, then you could actually get some really good video and anybody who wants to watch it goes on YouTube, they can look around and see everything happen around you. If something was to happen, you have video, even if you didn't see it yourself, you have video what happened behind you. So a lot of cool features to it. Um, you can't adjust video anything above 1060p you can't adjust the photo at all it is stuck as it is 
it does have an app for the phone and for the computer to control it. It's uh, SYVR360, and you can actually go to the website to uh, locate that or search uh, SYVR360 on your um, Google, and it'll give it to you. So those are definitely benefits to be able to control them. It's SYMAX360, SYMAX360.com for the computer version. But you can control it from your phone. You can't use it as a computer, like a webcam. But it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool features that you don't get off most cameras. It is budget. I mean, it's 170 bucks, but you're not going to be able to get a true 3D, well, not 3D, but 360 camera that under $200 is going to be quite as good a quality, especially coming with the tripod and the uh, mount holder at the bottom. It actually comes with the little bracket you screw into it, which I've been using for multiple other cameras as well. So it is definitely one of the higher end budget cameras. It's all right here. It's not one of those that looks just like this with one lens that shows everything around it. It's a true dual lens. You can do it in multiple views and it's an awesome design. I actually like it. I'm going to take it on my cruise. I uh, guess it's a month and about five days away. They'll be on a cruise ship so I figured this would be a perfect thing to put up on a selfie stick up above me walk around the ship and record the departure and what's going on so stay tuned for that video you can check out what the ship looks like and what it looks like to leave port definitely a good camera the video is good pictures are good it's not a big market yet but it's getting there and if you've ever thought about getting into 360 recording this is a good way to start. I mean, 170 bucks is not a bad price to jump into the system. You can always try going higher end at a later date if you can afford it. Um, Samsung Gear 360 is what I was looking at to begin with. That thing runs $342. Uh, they have one that's similar. It's a single lens that's just like that. It's 100 bucks. But it is, again, just a single lens. So most of what you're looking at, you have a single lens. Or you go for a true dual lens. It's going to be a little bit more expensive. There's a single lens out there for 500 It's supposed to be 4K. Most people don't have 4K TVs or computers. So that doesn't really matter. There's a $280 Kodak 360. Again, single lens. It just it sits this way versus front and back dual lens. Um, really, if you just look around, just hit Amazon and start looking up 360 cameras, a lot of what you'll, you'll find is the single lens for around $100 up to $500. And they probably would work just fine. They may work good for a motorcycle as well because you only have one lens but if you want the true cool feature of double lens everything's recorded all around vertical it shows much further down than what the single lens will do this is a really good way to do it so I definitely recommend this style I'm gonna link the video for the actual recording of this where I talk as well do a review on this camera into this description so you can go to both you'll get kind of the same information but you'll see me driving with this going the uh, windshield's a little bit dirty so you won't be able to you'll see the dirty truck is what I was in at the time I don't take the truck very often so I figured I was in it go ahead and lock it in and start using it so I can get the review done I have had it for a while I just couldn't get the review done because trying to get everything mounted with all these different mounting brackets that some didn't work, some did. It's, so it's been a pain to get all the mounting brackets to work like I wanted. So I've got it all done. I've done some good tests. 
Uh, I've just got to wait to see if I can get that waterproof case, and if I do, I will be submitting some more and keep an eye out around November 15th or sometime after November 15th. Keep an eye out on the channel, and I'll be having some more from the crews. So, thank you much. Uh, if you like the video, hit a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Um, if you want to see more about the camera, the link will be in the description for uh, Top Vision Inc. on Amazon. They also will have the written review there. Um, also, it's going to have the links for the other videos. And it'll also have the link for the Oxabar uh, multi port plug system I used to charge that while I was using it. And kind of give you a hint of everything I use and how I run it so check it out if you like it pick one up it's definitely worth it to get into and you know, the sky's the limits when it comes to these things especially if you're a drone flyer this would be awesome to get into to see everything around you playing with a drone especially at a 4th of July party or if you're into tactical stuff firearms law enforcement or firefighter this is the way to go so thank you much